Greetings, my dear friends, once again welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're heading back to Ratai because it's time to start hanging out with Teresa some more. It's also probably time to start um, learning how to fight a bit better and getting a bit more proficient at stealth. All of these things are important. But I'm not touching the main quest for a while. It's at a nice place where I can just leave it and just kind of do my own thing. If you hear strange noises, by the way, I have a cat near me. It's fine, it's only a cat. And she's a nice cat, too, who's been through horrible times recently. So we're being extra nice to her. Still going this way. Okay. <coughs> There's rarely incidents along these roads, but often enough that you should be cautious. In fact, I think it's this stretch here, from Neuhof to Ratai, that there's the biggest chance of foul play. Still not much chance of it. I'm sure I've had it happen once or twice. I think I should stop off at the alchemists as well and uh, <coughs> make some more saviour snaps, since I have none. Captain Bernard, I will come and see you later. Sorry. This is a new horse. Relatively. Oh, 
was so tempted to stop and fight Milan, but I'm not going to. Not this time. <laughs> it's just always a temptation. Because he's such a twat and deserves it so much. Also his hat. I like his hat and always want to steal his hat. But I've already stolen his hat. I'm wearing it now. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Screech to a halt. With the horse. Go and wash myself. Pick some marigolds, because why not? They're there. And get a bit of rest, actually. Uh, what's the time? Oh, it's noon. Then I won't sleep sleep. I will just snooze for an hour. Have a cat nap, as it were. <coughs> oh shit, where'd she go? Isn't it just like. No, I'm not going to continue with that. I could, but I know where she is because she's here. Hi, Teresa. Lovely to see you again. Greetings, Henry. As always. Um, so, how have you been? So, uh, how have you been? I can't stop thinking about Scarlet's. I know. It's hard. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Like a walk? That's not a bad idea. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd love to go another time. Will you come and see me again? Oh, As her ladyship commands. Isn't it just you no? Just, uh... Well, shall we take a walk? What now? Shall we take a walk? You don't give up, do you? Well, let me think. I've got lots to do right now. But I'd love to go another time. Will you come and see me again? Ah, so ladyship. Fine. <laughs> you jester. I'm not going to ask her about scallops. And yeah, we don't want to start the woman's lot palaver yet. Maybe later. Not later tonight. But I'll get around to it. It's just not right now. Because for right now, oh, quiet, Mark. For right now, I cannot sprint while I'm overloaded. Huzzah. But I may as well get some extra Belladonna while I'm here. Can never have enough Belladonna. Also Wormwood. But I kind of like that because it's just valuable more than anything. 
Belladonna. Well, it's the less common ingredient and also the one you need to use more of in Savior's Schnapps. So, the other ingredient, being nettle, it's flipping everywhere. Everywhere you go, you see nettle. But Belladonna, no. And this is a nice little patch that keeps regrowing right nearby, right near Peshex. It's really terribly convenient. <coughs> so, yes, um, not dating Teresa immediately. Instead, we are Engaging in some herbalistic endeavours. And we will... Brew some more saviour schnapps. Maybe something else. Depending on what I have the ingredients for. Screw this. This is why horses are four, after all. Yeah. Diddly dee, diddly do. Riding horse through town. Me save your snaps. Whoever drinks this potion shall save the game. Okay, wine, wine. Two handfuls of belladonna and one of nettle. One handful of nettle in the cauldron. Let's uh, get that boiling. That should be two turns. Grind up two handfuls of belladonna straight in the mortar. Grind them up. Grind them up real good. Grind, 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 grind. And now, in the cauldron. And then, boil for one more turn, which is three tugs of the rope. And you get the thigh already. There we go. Okay. Do I actually have anything else? No. 
I literally only have savior schnapps right now. Okay. Well, let's make some more anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to pour that wine again. <sighs> but yes, it's basically... It equates to one tug of the rope to get the fire lit and then two more will be a turn of the sand glass and two more on top of that is another turn of the sand glass which is why five to begin with. Damn it. Three, four, five. There we go. And of course, by the time you're done grinding the belladonna, the fire's gone out, so you need the extra tug to relight it. Well, the fire hasn't gone out, but you know what I mean. The uh, cauldron has stopped boiling. Yes, yeah, so one tug to get it started, and then two more for each turn of the sand glass. New level in alchemy, woo! Let's do another one. That'll do, I think. However many I've got. Oh, I didn't actually mean to summon you. Pebbles, sorry. Eight! Eight's a good number. Sir, I've just been out the back using your equipment. God save. 
Uh, you got any training you can give me? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, sod off. Well, I think it over. I'm pretty good at the basics, actually. If you must know. I can cook up saviour schnapps like nobody's business. Um... Night Orc Potion. That might be useful for, uh... When we do the base. But we're not doing the base yet. Recipe for Moonshine. Marigold Decoction. Maybe Lullaby Potion. Why not? Why not? Now, what can we sell? Actually, honestly, without knowing some of these ingredients, I shouldn't sell any of it. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right. So? Try for 670. Have we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. 740. How about 700? All right, so? Nice. Thanks, buddy. Um, there's a chair out the back here, I reckon. There we go. Well, a stool. Somewhere that you can sit and read, anyway. So, what have we? Moonshine, Marigold, and Lullaby. <coughs> now, what the hell are they? Marigold we can definitely do. Moonshine, I reckon we can probably do as well. Yeah, I've got some Sage. I think I've got some St. John's Wort. And I know I picked up some Mint. And Lullaby. Poppy. Thistle. Uh, can't do Poppy. Uh, Poppy. Can't do Lullaby because the prepare button is greyed out. But moonshine, oh yes, oh yes we can. As we can marigold. Okay. Let's try to brew some moonshine today, shall we? Prepare that. Now, it does say, Moonshine is a potion that is not yet very widespread, for it is necessary first to get accustomed to drinking it due to its excessive strength. It drives sickness from the body and warms it on a cold night, but it intoxicates more than wine in the mornings after it are sore. You will need spirits, a handful of St. John's Wort, one of Sage, and one of Mint. Drop the St. John's Wort in the cauldron and boil for one turn. Grind the sage, grind the mint, drop the sage and mint in and boil for one more turn. Distill. Ooh, we get to distill this. That's fancy. 
Okay. Okay. Hang on. Spirits. Spirits first. This stuff is going to mess you up. A handful of St. John's Wort. One handful. Sploosh. Now. Three, two, one on the rope. And... I wonder, can we grind the mint and sage together. Would that save some time? I think it probably would. Now we need to boil this for one more turn, I believe. According to the Yes. Drop the sage and mint in and boil for one more turn, then distill. Okay. Shitting. If you miss it, you kind of need to give it an extra tug. If you miss it on the second one. But anyway. Um, oh. Still need a file, don't you? Even to distill. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yes. There we go. Okay, well, that worked. How much moonshine did I get? I got five. Actually, I probably had some before that. Knowing me, I, I'm always picking up bloody moonshine. Okay, now. Can't do lullaby. Marigold decoction. Let's try marigold decoction. Whoever has been wounded and battered, or has bruises and wounds on his body, let him try drinking this potion for recovery. It helps to heal wounds and gives the body the strength to recover. Should it not be enough, though, better to call a physician. It also aids against hangover. You will need water, a handful of nettles, and two of marigold. Drop the nettle in the water and cook for one turn. Leave to cool. Drop in the marigold, but don't boil it anymore. That's even easier than Saviour's schnapps. Water? Now, it was one handful of nettles and two of marigold. That's nettle in the water. One, two, three. Marigold, one handful in the dish, another handful in the dish, and pour it in the cauldron. Uh, 
Then you get a file. And we're done. That's literally it. I'm pretty sure that's the easiest potion in the game. Four of them I've got now. Don't need an off mushroom. Actually, yeah, bugger it. Father Godwin, is that you? Better bloody not be. Um, anyway. I have things I can sell him. Not the Belladonna. Seven, nearly seven and a half groschen. Thirteen and a half now. Thirty seven wormwood at. Point four of a grosh and a piece, thirty one. Okay. Let's have a word about the price. Oh. All right. It's time for so. the tawny. Come on, thirty seven fifty. We agreed. It's not worth it to me. You're right, 36. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. I'd have easily gone as low as 35, personally, but he doesn't need to know that. Um, <clears throat> yes. Tawny, tomorrow. must enroll in the tourney. And then maybe, just maybe, go and see Teresa afterwards. Because this was meant to be the dating episode, or the beginning of the dating episode. So, Hanosh, I'm not going to talk to you, because I don't want to. Harold? The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Uh, I want to enrol in the tourney. I'd like to enrol in the big tournament. 
Come tomorrow morning to the Upper Castle Courtyard and I'll gladly sign you up. I'm certainly not going to do it here and now. And don't forget to bring three score brochure with you. Fine. Does mean I can't get involved in uh, some of the sort of shenanigans I might get involved in playing Farkle. Or more accurately, losing at Farkle. If I'm winning, damn it, Bernard's gone inside already. Okay, we don't get to train with Bernard beforehand. That's fine. No training with Bernard before the tournament. But by golly, I'm going to have a couple of hands. Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to throw some dice. Fancy a game? I've got rather a few. Quite a selection. I'm not going to use any of them though, as usual. Well, that is a very promising start. Score and roll again. Okay. An extra 350. I'll keep that. It's a great first round. This will be the one, or this will be a one, was that? Mm. Oh, you fool. Oh, no. Ah, <sighs> well. Didn't have much option there. That'll do. Dude got a good roll then. Uh, it's just... What the hell? was in your shoes, so I'd pass all the goings good. Damn it, one, two, three, four. Just score and pass. Should I should No, I daren't. This'll be an easy Damn. Way. Excuse me, sir. That was my money that I just lost to you. you. 
like to try and win it back. One, two, four, four, five, six. That's terrible. Two, two, four, five, six. Not afraid of Anna tonight. This is all because I I've mentioned the, shoes, so the, the shenanigans that I get up to with this fellow. I can never pass him up. Look, shut your git mouth. We're rolling again now. Shite. Ah, come on. Why am I at a throw? No, it bloody isn't. Not yet. Time I had a throw. Not afraid of anything, eh? Ah, oh, come on. Time I had a throw. If I was in your shoes, so I'd pass all the gold. Shit. Here. Still just shit rolls. Absolute fecal matter. Ah, come on. Why am I at a throw? Not afraid of anything, eh? There we go. Absolute bollocks. Two, a three, and a two. We'll see. You Your turn. absolute banana lord. <coughs> if I was in your shoes, so I'd pass all the goings good. But the going hasn't been good since the first couple of throws of the first round game thing that we played. Shit! I should have. Should have passed, is what I was going to say. Buddy, it's fine. We know you're winning. You can stop winning any time now. No point pushing it. <sighs> hey. Eight fifty on the one roll. And what have we got here? Back to donkey shoes, bollocks. All the going's good. Ah, oh, come on. It's time I had a throw. If 
I was in your shoes, I'd pass all the goings good. <laughs> Sakura, I know that feeling. We'll see. God's holy art. One, two, three, four, four, six. I'm honestly usually better at this. Not afraid of anything, eh? Use your head, man. You lose everything. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass all the goings good. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass all the goings good. If you were in my shoes, you'd be doing exactly what I'm doing. Trying to extend this for as long as you can and hope for a good roll. That's why it's called gambling, I believe. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass all the gold. Shit! Good. Thank heavens. If you made it, I might as well give up. You, sir, are a chewer of other people's cod pieces. Sorry about this, buddy. Okay. much did I get money wise was it worth it oh it's down the bottom I never looked down there 1.2k yeah yeah that was worth it even though I'll probably have a price on my head in the morning which will mean no tournament for Henry probably but it depends. He might not have actually noticed it was me. Let's find out. Actually, let's first. <laughs> Sorry. 
summon the horse into the room. Um, maybe nibble on a sausage. fellow's clothes in here as well. Okay. <sighs> now let's sleep. Hopefully, dude wakes up and thinks, Oh, I'm naked and broke, but doesn't see any connection with the fellow who was playing Farkle with last night. Which amazingly seems to have been the case. It's a miracle. Or summit. All I know is if I was gambling with someone and taking all of their money and then I suddenly woke up and my fancy clothes were all missing, as was all my money, but then I suppose he'd been gambling with a bunch of people, not just Henry. Combat skills, sword is not bad, and that's about it. Okay. This is probably going to go very badly for me, in all honesty. But that's fine, it's allowed to. Not everything has to go wonderfully well, it's fine. But I shall make a cut here, actually, I think. Do a quick save and quit. Yes, I'll be back. I'm trying shorter episodes. See how that works. Uh, next up, the tournament. Farewell for now.